to the NBA now, where you've got a Rockets team that has won 11 in a row, taking on a Mavs team that can be dangerous. Can I get a 12? Short answer, no. Blame this man, Luca. I mean, this was pregame. If you're making trick shots like that, oh. you kind of know that that is a sign of things to come. And it was early first, Mavs up, step back three, Mavs up 10. Next, Mavs possession. Oh, Brittany is out there doing it again. Paul and Bank. He made nine of those. <laughs> Mavs up 13. A few possessions later. This time it's contest contested. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Mavs back up 13. This man had 22 points in the first quarter. He was making five threes just in the first quarter. Eight rebounds, four assists. The lead was 12 after one. Did I say that already? We go to the second. Mavs still lead. Luca still hot. Like, how many crossovers are you going to do there? Several. Then, Doncic doing this, hitting the fadeaway. He breaks a tie with Steph, Kobe, for the second most 30-point first half. He's had nine of them since 97, 98. He trails just James Harden with 14. Now in the third, the Rockets had no answer. Like, there was never a hope that they were going to get to 12 in a row. When that meant, like, the trick shot before the game, what was, like, seriously, we're just going to throw it. That's how I shoot. This is a game, right? Yeah, I think. That time over Jalen Green, who's been so good for the Rockets. Josh is up to 42 points there. And driving Landale in the air. Uh, the nine three-pointers that he made, that ties a career high. He had a cool 47, and the streak is snapped. The Mavs win 125-107. Uh, so Luca continues to do everything. We're trying to stay out of the play-in tournament. He's led in points, rebounds, and assists in 35 out of 65 games this season. There are only three players with more games as their team's leader in all of those categories within a single season. All right, so then there are the Warriors who took the floor only two games back in the standings. They've suddenly won three in a row. They buckled down at a defensive end, but there's no, there's no stopping Wemby. Is it possible to say that he's been better than expected? Now, yes. 32 and 9 for Wembenyama coming off that 40 20 game last time out. Steph Curry, step back. You don't know me like that. Warriors led by eight. Since they snubbed him at the All Star break. That's right, snubbies. Mm -hmm. Steph went for 33, his 27th 30 point game this season. Under four minutes to go. You know, when Draymond's on the floor, he's a difference maker. Dubs led. By 12. Wembenyama, though, a big time bucket. He went for 32 and 9. Minute 30 to go. It's the return of the Jetty. Jetty Osman hits the three, but Golden State would not be denied. Clay Thompson tying Kyle Korver for the sixth most three pointers in NBA history. Steph goes for 33, Draymond 21, and the Warriors won it 117. To 113. Here you go. Golden State currently the 10 seed, a two game lead on Houston with the win. They'll take on the Mavericks on Tuesday at home before two games on the road in Houston and then in Dallas, the road ahead for Golden State. Playoff seating would come into play for this game as well. Not for the Nets, but for the Lakers. LeBron James is going to have a big one. Early first, Lakers up. I mean, we're talking like really early first. Rui Hachimura lobs it up to Anthony Davis. That was pretty. Then we're just going to do it again. Mikael Bridges misses. LeBron gets the rebound. Then he throws it up to AD. Lakers up by 15. Six minutes left in the first. Still a 15-point lead. Make it 17. Austin Reeves. It was a 17-0 run. It is the largest in the NBA this season to start a game. The Lakers led 67-44 at the break. Now also keep in mind this was one of LeBron's best shooting nights of his career. Think about that for a second. LeBron was five of six from three through just the first three quarters. The Lakers up 11. He would be uh, also effective in the fourth. LeBron another three. He made nine of those tied his career high. The lead is 14. There's almost a point where like LeBron looks like he can believe it because he's just like shooting off of one foot, falling down. It, what is that supposed to be? Goat? By the way? I don't even know. Season high for LeBron, 40 points. 
Russell threw in seven rebounds and five assists, and the Lakers win 116-104. Here's your reminder, LeBron is 39, so he scored 40 for the second time since he turned 39 in December. He joins Michael Jordan as the only players in league history with multiple 40-point games at the age of, age of 39 or older. MJ actually did it three times during his stint with the Wizards. I mean, obviously, it's a, it's a really good feeling when you have it going and, uh, and you're winning. You know, that's the most important for me. But, uh, you know, the appreciation for the fans here, you know, I just try to give them the game back. And, you know, uh, it was you know, very well received. And uh, I just try to reciprocate that by going out and playing the game that I love to play at a high level. How long do you expect to continue playing in the NBA? Ron, it's 9 out of 10 at your age and with your, uh, your accomplishments, it's still like a head earner for a lot of people. Yeah, uh, not very long. Not very long. Um, I'm on the other side, obviously, at a hill, so uh, I'm not going to play another 21 years. That's for damn sure, but uh, not very long. Um, I don't know what uh, when that door will close as far as my, when I will retire, but I don't have much time left. And at that point, you would almost say, obviously. Of course. As for the team, the Lakers move within a game of the Kings for the eighth seed in the West. About six through nine are separated by a total of three and a half games. So here's your reminder. The ninth and tenth seeds, they need to win two straight games to make the playoffs in that play-in tournament. Seven and eight get two chances to win just one game. NBA season winding down. Paul George and the Clippers on the road facing the Hornets. Early in the second quarter for this one, Clippers up six, make it eight. Paul George turnarounds fading away ever so slightly George again this time step back three the lead is now 42 33 you want more Paul George okay hit another three the lead is 10 is only Paul George playing in this game I feel like potentially it is George hit seven in a row make it eight because on the very next Clippers possession, he hit that three. He made eight straight field goals in the first half. It led by 22. Clippers went into the break. It was 67-55. Russell Westbrook finding George. Wait for it. That's a three because he made eight in this one. Wait, hold on. Not a three? No, nope, just a regular old bucket. 41 points, the seventh 40-point game this season for the Clippers, passing Lou Williams for the second most on the team. Well, thanks. Getting ready for the Elite Eight. The Bulls would love to finish in the eighth spot in the East. Doesn't think it's going to happen. Anthony Edwards ready to go. No cat. He's rocking the Rubio jersey. Remember, Cat's got the meniscus tear. They'll take a look at him. Final week of the regular season. Edwards, Minnesota within one. Bulls were hot shooting team on this day. Gobert, known for his defense, coming up big on offense there. Put back. Wolves take the lead after the free throw. But I mentioned Chicago was shooting hot. Defense leading to offense. DeMar DeRozan back the other way. Bulls are probably going to finish under 500, but in the plane, it doesn't matter. You sneak in, you get in. DeRozan. Bulls are probably going to finish in the nine spot. Next time, they've got it. Caruso, corner three off the tip from Vooch. Seven triples for him. Man, guys are just unloading from deep all Sunday in the NBA, as you've seen on SportsCenter here all night long. White got it. 17 threes for the Bulls and a huge road win over a team that might win the West. Elsewhere in the East, Zubin, Jalen Brunson, and the Knicks hosting the Thunder. OKC can clinch a playoff spot if they win. Four minutes left, Knicks down three. Jalen Brunson, fresh off his 61-point game, misses a free throw. Ball's kept alive, though, gets back to Brunson for three. He went four for 11 from outside. That ties it. New York fighting tooth and nail for that three to six mix in the East. Same score here. Josh Giddy lays off for Jalen Williams. Giddy had a triple double. Williams had a game high 33. 18 seconds left now. Knicks down one. Brunson misses the tying free throw. He went just four for eight at the line, but okay, second chance point. Dante DiVincenzo, no. Ball goes out of bounds off OKC. The Knicks out rebounded the Thunder, but shot just 41%. Ensuing possession. Brunson. Making up for the missed freebie. Blows by Chet Holmgren. He had a team high 30. Knicks up one. But Brunson wanted the end one, and that point would prove pivotal. Four seconds left. OKC inbounds. Giddy to Shea Gilgis Alexander. Questionable coming in. Definite when it counts. 19 points. None bigger than those two. OKC's up one. 
Last chance for New York, 1.8 on the clock. DiVincenzo gets it to Brunson, who can't get the turnaround J to fall. Knicks lose a heartbreaker. Thunder clinch a playoff spot. All right, so obviously we showed you Minnesota, we showed you OKC. Denver in the mix for that one seed as well with those two. Nikola Jokic, a sore right wrist, wasn't sure if he was gonna go. He went and he was big time as always. Jokic backing in Jared Allen, no Jamal Murray again for Denver, although Michael Malone says he's getting a little bit better. Christian Brown, Nuggets up 56-50. So you saw the Wolves lose and the Thunder win, and this is gonna come down perhaps to the final game of the season, so every game important now for Denver. Jokic on his way to a triple-double, almost got it in the first half. He's rolling, and then about midway through the third, it's complete off the feed. Aaron Gordon throws it down. Incredible. Jokic tap another one. That triple-double counter keeps on moving. And then another great touch pass to Peyton Watson. Another dime for Jokic. And then going behind the back to KCP. Triple-double in. Nuggets roll. And we are headed to a fantastic finish. The champs are trying to catch the Thunder, the Wolves, look at this. Three teams separated by a grand total of one game. There are two weeks left in the NBA's regular season. Final day, Sunday, April 14th, in a chase to be the best in the West.